Welcome to the second part of our excavation tutorial. In this video, we will dive deeper into the features available under the Excavation Plan tab, where you can manage your existing operations and create an excavation quantity takeoff. Let's get started. Start by opening the Excavation tool and selecting the Excavation Plan tab. This opens a planning dashboard, organized by milestones. Here you are able to manage, edit, or delete the existing operations while the 3D view displays the result of all operations within the active milestone. In addition, you can preview the resulting volume of operations for each milestone, which will be collected as part of the excavation takeoff. Note that our excavation sequence engine operates differently in comparison to other tools in CM Builder. The order in which the operations are organized will impact the final excavation shape. For example, if a cut is created after a fill, the final shape will show the cut removed from the fill. However, if we change the order of these operations, you will see a different result, as the fill will now be added on top of the cut. You can click the operation index numbers to activate a temporary view, allowing you to inspect the results up to that specific point. You can easily rearrange the order of operations within the same milestone, or move an operation to another milestone, by simply dragging and dropping the item. You can also change the order using the Timeline function or use the Move to option from the Operations menu. Next let's dive into the Operations menu. In the Operations menu, accessible by clicking on the three-dot icon or right-clicking the card, you'll find a variety of useful options. Let's look at a few common actions applicable to all operations. Show visuals at this step will activate an intermediate view of the excavation shape up to the selected operation. Rename can be used to change the name of the operation. Duplicate will create a copy of the same operation within the same milestone, preserving its parameters and location. A duplicate operation won't affect your excavation shape unless you alter its position, sketch, or parameters. Select Move 2 to reassign the operation to a different milestone. Edit Details will open the Operation side menu, allowing you to adjust the sketch, rename the operation, or modify its parameters. Delete from Site Plan completely removes the operation from your site plan. Cut Operations will have an additional option to Create Fill from Cut, which adds a new fill operation with the same shape of the cut. Select this to quickly create a backfill operation, and then move it to the intended milestone. Positive ramps also have an additional option to create a cut from ramp, which adds a new cut operation with the same footprint as the ramp. Select this to create a cut operation and remove the ramp at a specific milestone. To further customize your excavation, click on Edit Excavation Settings at the top of the Excavation Plan tab. Here, you can change the default color of your excavation operations and edit the sketch for your excavation boundary. The excavation boundary, which encompasses the area of all your excavation operations, is automatically created along with your first excavation operation and adjusts itself to fit the geometry of subsequent operations. Note that you cannot edit the boundary surface if it's a flat map, as the entire map serves as the boundary for flat maps. If needed, the trash bin icon allows you to remove all existing excavation operations to start fresh. But please be aware that this action is irreversible. Lastly, let's open the Earthwork Takeoff tool to view and export the excavation volumes for your simulation. This report compiles all operation volumes for each milestone in a table format, along with the total project quantities. You can enter a swell factor to calculate the compact and loose volumes based on your soil type. The detailed breakdown tab shows an expanded list with each excavation operation, the milestone it belongs to, and associated volumes. Both reports can be exported to a CSV format by clicking on the Export button in the respective tabs. This concludes our second video covering the Excavation Toolkit. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video.